It was 1974. Tom Landry and the Dallas Cowboys started the season off with a wonderful record. It was the worst start for a Landry team in almost a decade. But like most of his teams, they were resilient and fought back into the playoff picture by winning four straight games. By the time they faced the division's second-ranked Redskins, they had garnered a 5-4 record, which was two games away from second place. It was simple. All they had to do was win out, and they controlled their own destiny. Simple and yet complex. They had to beat the fifth-ranked passing defense in football, the Washington Redskins, who were allowing teams to complete just 49.4% of passes. But it gets worse. The Redskins only gave up 13 passing touchdowns that year. They were the 8th ranked passing defense in touchdowns allowed. Dallas on the other hand, they were ranked 12th in passing touchdowns. Dallas came to Washington as one of the hottest teams at the time, who was on a 4 game winning streak. It was one of the more anticipated games of the year. Redskins defense got off to an unbelievable start. Tom Landry's third down offense had no answer for the Redskins dime defense. Six defensive backs was put on the field on third downs in order to stop Pearson, who was the leading receiver in the league at that point. The Redskins' dime defense shut down Dallas on nine straight third downs in just the first half. They shut out Tom Landry's offense in the first half, outscoring them 28 to nothing. It was the worst performance by Tom Landry's offense in his 15-year career with the Dallas Cowboys at that time. Captain Comeback almost mustered up a second-half comeback, but when Drew Pearson dropped the perfect strike down a Washington six-yard line in the red zone on fourth down, it was indeed too late. Dallas's offense had put themselves into a deficit that even Captain Comeback couldn't get out of. This loss put a huge dent into Dallas's playoff hopes. Remember, they had to win out in order to make the postseason. They ended up beating this same Redskins defense two weeks later, but just like much of what happened that season, it was little too late. Dallas ended up losing the last game of the season, thus mathematically destroying any chance they had of a playoff berth. The Raiders, who was tied for the sixth ranked defense in touchdowns allowed, held Starbuck to no touchdowns. On the season, Starbuck played in nine games versus top 10 defenses in touchdowns allowed. He threw for a total of five touchdowns. Landry received his worst criticism from the media in almost a decade. It was the first time Landry's Cowboys missed the postseason in nine years. But even in times of despair, what made Landry so great was his ability to innovate in times of failure. Scientist Landry once again entered into his football lab and reinvented an old and forgotten offensive scheme that was first originated 16 years prior in 1960 by the 49ers head coach, Red Hickey. I introduced to you the shotgun offense. It was just a year before where they couldn't convert on nine straight third downs in the first half. Landry brilliantly came up with an idea that if he moved Starback five to seven yards behind the center, he would be in better position to counter special defensive packages that was used to stop passing plays. Landry's shotgun was different from those who came before him. Earlier spread formations had no running back in the backfield to account for the blitz, but most importantly, the heavy use of the short shovel pass helped stop defenses that ran the down package. Remember, back in those days, most teams didn't have short yardage third down schemes for third and five. Anything beyond five yards was considered long passes. Landry's shotgun with the added running back changed all of that. The shovel pass was a more easier alternative to third and five or third and six than a regular drop back throw. And because the D take out a DB or switch to a nickel defense, which of course created better matchups down the field. This made the Cowboys the most unpredictable offense in football. Scientist Landry did it again. No year. You remember the year before when Dallas's playoff hopes was diminished because they had no answer for Washington's dime defense in the first half? Well, fast forward a year later, only this time the roles have changed. It's week 13 and Washington is 8-4 in third place, while Dallas is 9-4 in second place in the Eastern Conference. They beat Dallas early in the season so the stakes was high. If Dallas loses, they fall into third place to Washington out of the playoff race with only one game to go. The stars were aligned for the Cowboys to seek revenge from the embarrassing loss the year before. But would they? Would Landry's new innovation of the shotgun spread prove to be effective against a defense that annihilated them only one year ago? You bet. The Cowboys convincingly beat Washington 31 to 10. Washington would score 10 points in the first quarter, but was shut out for the rest of the game. Dallas scored 31 unanswered points in three quarters. They eliminated Washington from the playoffs 
and secured a playoff berth of their own. Unlike the season before, when they struggled to score more than five passing touchdowns in nine games against top 10 defenses. In 75, they scored nine passing touchdowns in 70 games against top 10 defenses in points allowed. The project was a success. It changed the league. If you start from 1974, where 0% of teams were using the shotgun to 48 years later in 2022, where 68% of teams are using it, we can safely say Landry was indeed a brilliant innovator way before his time. Landry once again came up with a new and innovative scheme that would change the league forever. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.